My woman to watch is Fatima Samba Diouf Samora, a Senegalese former diplomat appointed as the first female Secretary General of FIFA in May 2016. In 2018, she ranked number one in Forbes' most powerful women in international sports. Holding a senior position in a male-dominated organization like FIFA is no easy feat. She says, there are people who don't think that a black woman should be leading the administration of FIFA. It's sometimes as simple as that. It is something we're fighting on a daily basis on the pitch. I don't want any racist person around me. Nobody asks a man when he takes a position if he's competent to do the job. They just assume that he can do the job. For a woman to make her way to the top, you need to prove every single day that you are the best fit for that position. It's definitely going to be an interesting year for women in soccer. I'm keeping an eye on Asisat Lamina Oshola, a Nigerian professional soccer player. She was named the best player and was the highest scorer at the 2014 FIFA Under-20 Women's World Cup. She was also named the best player and the second top goal scorer with the Super Falcon team who won the 2014 African Women's Championship. She also won many other awards. As you know, Nigeria's team will be playing um, in 2019 as uh, Women's World Cup, and Asisat will be playing. So we'll be keeping an eye on her as well as her teammates. Well, some are good in football. Others have healing hands, like my woman to watch. She's called the miracle doctor, Namibian ophthalmologist Dr. Helena Ndume. Now, she's the first ever woman recipient of the UN Nelson Holishlashla Mandela Prize for her work in treating the blind in Southern Africa. She's a former refugee who went on to get an education in Germany. She came back home, and to date, she's restored the sight of tens of thousands of people who had gone blind from cataracts and other eye-related illnesses. She says you can't call yourself a developed country if people are still going blind from cataracts. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what she's going to be doing in the new year. Really a special She sounds there. like an incredible woman. Mm -hmm. Well, this year I'm watching not one but 37 women, all of them staff members of the African Union, who dared to speak up about the prevalence of sexual harassment at the AU. They remain anonymous, but their words broke the silence on the issue and forced the AU to reevaluate what's been called a boys' club. They signed a petition that launched a special investigation committee, which found 44 cases of alleged sexual harassment and that young women were being exploited for sex in exchange for jobs. The investigation also found that reporting sexual harassment at the AU is often difficult because there isn't a sexual harassment policy. Well, that is about to change. The AU has promised to take immediate action on urgent issues and establish a comprehensive sexual harassment policy. Although there's a lot more work to do, these 37 women started a conversation that will no doubt continue to take place in the coming year. Way to go to the women. Yeah, 37 of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know the hashtag, VOA All Voices. Tell us who you think is a woman to watch in the year ahead. Be sure to watch our voices on the VOA website where you can find the world's top news stories.